So let's start discussing uh, UFI boot flow. Uh, you already saw this picture. Um, we um, starting with the with, uh, first phase of uh, UFI um, and PI boot process. So first phase defined in platform initialization specification is SEC or security. So SEC phase is described in PI specification chapter 13 and uh, it is considered root of trust uh, for UFI boot flow. It may authenticate PEI foundation. Uh, so in, in theory, there is no limit um, what SEC can authentica authenticate, uh, but in reality, it, it doesn't authenticate whole PEI phase because PEI phase is, uh, consists of PEI foundation, which is a component that dispatch various modules which are inside the PEI phase. Um, and and um, according to specification and according to typical implementations, uh, SEC just authenticates this PI foundation, not the modules which are executed during the PI phase. And because of that, various root of trust technologies like uh, Intel Boot Guard or AMD Hardware Validated Boot, uh, just ver uh, like when they're doing ver uh, verification, uh, they verify uh, SEC and PI phase including the uh, PI modules. Yeah, so we already discussed that this the, the SEC phase and, and the next phase can be hardened through some additional mechanism. Um, SEC starts at reset vector of the platform, which you learned about um, in other, in, in previous courses. Uh, so um, it includes mo most basic initialization of the processor and, and have to perform um, switch to protected mode and loading load uh, microcode and uh, some, sometimes also prepare temporary RAM, um, also called cache as RAM, uh, to be able to execute more sophisticated code. Um, it, is, it is expected by the spec that following information will be passed to the uh, PI phase. So first of all, state of the platform, second um, size of the boot firmware uh, volume, um, uh, location and size of the temporary RAM, location and size of the stack, which was established as a part of uh, temporary RAM um, um, setup. And optionally, it may pass uh, one or more hands of blocks um, via EFI sec hope data PPI um, structure. Um, there are also some uh, some other hops that can be passed, but uh, this is uh, this is optional and also implementation dependent. Um, other interesting st stuff that uh, you may learn about SEC, you may find be behind the article where uh, one of uh, 3M Dev employees trying to enable U UFI boot flow for small or winner A13 um, processor, and it. It just proves that not all CPUs can fill requirements of UFI specification, which is very interesting because UFI specifications should be so flexible and should give us um, ability to enable it on uh, every modern processor. Um, so we, we may ask ourselves when, when there are multiple firmware volumes, what additional code, uh, code is required to start executing um, SEC phase. Um, so first of all, the PI platform initialization pay core foundation already has mechanisms for handling multiple firmware volumes and multiple firmware vol volumes um, uh, is, is platform specific, specific and would be described in um, spe special UFI file called call FDF. We saw that file when we looked at the structure of the um, structure of the uh, source tree and platform specific uh, PI modules has to declare the location of the additional firmware volumes uh, for them to be known to the PI core. And why, 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 once they, those, uh, uh, those firmware volumes are declared uh, to P, PI core, um, then, then PI core can dispatch um, spe specific uh, plat PI modules for them. Um, and to be honest, the only firmware volume that is known to the PI core when it is started um, is the boot firmware volume 
which was uh, passed in the information from SecFace. 